Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Uh, I hope. I, I'm i late because, I guess to the surprise of no one, uh, it ended up crashing on me right before the stream started. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm switching Pokemon XD to a ROM hack called Pokemon XG, which is a very, very cool ROM hack. It essentially modernizes the game, uh, adds like physical special split, adds fairy type, adds a whole bunch of bells and whistles, and it's really dang cool. I, I sort of uh, spent this week kind of grinding it to get to the point that we're at in the story uh, on my, you know, actual Pokemon XD file. So rest assured, uh, we're gonna be continuing from where we left off, hopefully. Um, I do wanna stress that like, you know the problem we had around Christmas where this game kept crashing? Well, it didn't do that at all. And I thought I had it down. But of course, as soon as I start streaming, uh, apparently the game's just gonna start being weird. So if that happens once or twice, uh, just be ready for that. Honestly, if it happens like every like half hour or so, I'm still just gonna push through. But if it gets to the point where we can't, we literally can't play it, I'll just switch back to XD and we'll continue on. Uh, but right here, uh, right now, we're going to uh, continue on. Let me read the chat so you was here. Hello, Kaylee. Hi, chat. Hello, Kaylee. Hope you're doing good, Kaylee. Hello, Lemon Kate. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, we have a new kind of team going on in Pokemon XG because you could actually get different team members, which is pretty cool. Also, as you can see, they're kind of all fainted <laughs> because this ROM is a lot harder than XD. But you, as you can see, I still have Vaporeon. We have a Shadow Pelipper. We managed to grab ourselves a uh, Shadow Trico, which is pretty cool. Kind of an entirely different team other than uh, the Vaporeon, but hopefully we're able to get this team working the way we want it. Uh, again, there's a lot of additions that the ROM hack does, so I think it'd be better just to show you guys in practice. And I have no revives, so this is gonna be interesting, because I have to deal with the guy downstairs, and I have like two Pokemon. Oh, really? It won't accept items in reverse mode. How fascinating. Well, if I faint, I faint. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's add Torkoal and Combuskin. Kind of just using the Hoenn starters right now because they're, like, the, the level's the highest for them. Also, they get some pretty neat abilities, which is cool. Alright, let's battle this dude. What's wrong? Is there something to matter? Cypher appeared. Looks something like this. From what I remember, uh, two weeks ago when we last played, we, um, I think we only fought, like, one of the peons that disguise themselves as Justy. I know we fought this guy already, but it's a completely different experience. As you can see, the team is completely different. It's very refreshing, though, because by comparison to Pokemon XD, a lot of the peons use, like, unevolved Pokemon, and these ones don't play, man. This ROM hack doesn't play, so it's kind of cool in a lot of ways. Also, as you can see, uh, some Pokemon get abilities they don't usually have, in Gen 3, uh, like that Combuskin over there has Speed Boost. Torkoal has Drought. It's actually really cool. Also, I don't believe Shadow Magmar was a thing in the original. At least, maybe not till late game? I don't know. Either way, let's, uh, let's get this battle on the way. Hmm, I don't want to do this. Because it's gonna... Hmm. Maybe we'll low sweep Magmar, and then we'll... Uh, Shadow Burn Mill Tank. Also, ignore that. That doesn't mean it crashed, thankfully. <laughs> it just... Whenever it uses a move that didn't exist in Gen 3, and it has to, like, essentially hack the game to make that move a thing, uh, it does that little prompt, because it's like, oh, something weird's happening, you know? 
Ah, oh, geez, one shotted. Oh, well, two shotted Combusk in there. Well, we'll see how this goes. All right, Shadow Burn. Here we go. Come on. I don't know what happens if you lose here, because I beat the person upstairs. I figured out the Phoenix City has been taken over by Cypher. If I get booted back to the Pokemon Center, do I have to fight the person upstairs again? All right, let's go, Trico. Look, everyone, it's Trico. Yeah, all right. Uh, he's not very good, sadly, <laughs> but we'll do our best here. I, I don't think we're gonna win this, honestly, but again, we'll do our best. Here comes Body Slam from Miltank. Goodness me, giving me a, giving him a Miltank, too. I love Trico's little animations. You honestly don't really get to see a lot of um, the Hoenn starter animations in this game because of the distribution. Because you can't get them naturally in Coliseum or XD, so they're pretty rare to come across. Not to mention people who hook up their Ruby and Sapphire games to this game usually have them evolved like at that point, so... <laughs> but they're very cute. I, I like how they're conveyed. Okay, I don't think Torkoal is going to be able to get through both of these guys, but I will do my best. Because at the very least, it looks like Torkoal's resisting, which is good. Not if it enters Rage Mode, though. The sunlight is strong. Okay. I think I'll just try to get out of uh, Rage Mode. Because again, it looks like it completely walls Magmar, which is good. Because it... The shadow moves don't affect it, and then the fire moves don't affect it. So if we could just outlast Miltank here, we should be good. Just don't get status, Torkoal. Honestly, Torkoal is, like, low-key pretty amazing. I I always forget the utility of Torkoal. Like, Scarlet and Violet reintroduced me to how terrifying Torkoal can be. But the one from uh, Ruby and Sapphire specifically, Flannery's Torkoal... It didn't play, man. Like, that thing was nuts. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, also a fun thing with the ROM. It, like, really freaks out whenever I go into a menu. I don't know why. Just, uh, I guess PNGs are too weird for it to load. Come on. I just... Oh, if I, I just don't want to get paralyzed. Don't get paralyzed. Don't get paralyzed. Come on. I feel like I could pull something out here if I wanted to. Also, what's very interesting is that Pokemon get the move Shadow Blaze, Shadow Bolt, and Shadow Ice, which is interesting because those are the signature moves of the Shadow uh, Kanto birds. And it's really rad being able to see that uh, being applied to other Pokemon because they're cool animations. Okay. I'm just... I'm on a prayer here with Torkoal. No, I got paralyzed. No. Here's another Shadow Blaze. Dang, that was a crit too. Yeah, we should be all right. I just need to like stay alive here. Flash Fire raises its fire. Oh God, okay. Wait, oh, so wait, I don't think I have anything that could beat Magmar there unless I have a new move. No, I have nothing. I just kind of have to chuck Pokeballs at it and hope for the best. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I literally have nothing. I could try snagging it. See if that works. Oh, actually, I probably should have kept it on the field. And we got our first crash. That's fun. All right. Great. <laughs> okay, one sec, guys. All right. Again, if it keeps doing that, I am going to uh, straight up just start XD again and just uh, get that working. It really, really sucks. I had no... I don't know why it, like, freaks out. I really don't. Because it was brought up to me around Christmas, I think by Ice. She said it's, like, it's a very simple fix to make it so it doesn't crash all the time. And it's weird, because it was. I was grinding this game on here, and it was, it was going completely fine. Never crashed or anything like that. But... I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's just because the the stream, like the program, is just overloading the computer or something. I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I kind of don't really see how we could 
pull this one out. I might just try to take the L here. Just so we could get back to a Pokemon Center. <laughs> yeah. Because I, yeah, again, I really don't see how we could beat this guy. Also, they renamed a lot of the NPCs. Uh, the person who made the ROM hack really didn't care for, like, the weird Star Wars names this game had. Which is valid, but at the same time, it's kind of just like, oh, we don't get to hear the re weird names in this one. <laughs> Lemon Kate, Torkoal the tank. Yeah, jeez. Torkoal, Torkoal's low-key pretty amazing as a Pokemon. Kind of underrated. Maybe not underrated, because I did see it quite a fair bit in Scarlet and Violet, but... Uh, I guess we'll try going for Magmar again? Let's see. Again, if I lose, I lose. I, d I don't really care. I just... I need to be able to swap out my Pokemon. It's kind of weird how there's a peon downstairs. It's like, can can I just go to the Pokemon Center, please? Oh. I wonder what the catch rate is on that. Luna, I didn't get super far in XG, but I didn't get any crashing when I did play, so I don't know what's up with it. It's really weird. It's really weird. And apparently it's common enough that Ice knew that it happened. Uh, given I also run Dolphin on its own, so IDK. Yeah, yeah. That, that is a thing. That is a thing. It might be freaking out from the other programs. I guess now I think about it, whenever I did open Chrome, it would freak out, so... Yeah, maybe Dol maybe XZ just does not like it when I have other programs open at all. It just freaks out for some reason. I guess let's just try to get some XP here. Just flamethrower. As long as we survive this battle. Really? Another crash. Okay. That's phenomenal. All right. Well, third time's the charm. I am sorry about that. Alrighty. Whew. Alright, well, if it crashes one more time without this, uh... If it crashes one more time and the battle just does not proceed, then I am definitely gonna call it. <laughs> oh, man. So it just straight up just does not like it when you have, uh... Yeah, it just straight up does not like it. Wow. Okay, come on, load menu, go, go, go. Hmm, well, looking up the issues, there might be one that if it crashes again, we'll take another look into. Uh, something with the settings and something that I didn't see before. Because it's weird, because the first solution I found fixed it for a majority. Like, it was just like, oh, switch, like, the driver or something weird. And when I did it, it was, like, working way better. Like, before, I couldn't even, like, play it for, like, a minute, and it would just crash. But, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. So, I apologize, guys. I know it's not very, very entertaining to watch. If I knew... It was just gonna keep crashing, trust me. I would not have just, uh, kept going with the stream. So I apologize for that. I guess we'll just, uh, Super Potion Combusk in here. Again, crashes one more time. I'll try the fix, and then if it crashes one more time after that, calling it, we're just gonna go straight to Vanilla XD. So, it would be a shame, though, because... It's really nice playing XG. It's really, really dang cool. And, um, it, I mean, it looks pretty. Like, oh my god, compared to, uh, what we were having to deal with. Like, good lord. Oh yeah, something interesting. I don't know, uh, the flinch rates or the misses in XG. Oh, well, there we go. Another crash. Alrighty. Closey close. One sec. Okay, fun, fun, fun. All right, let me try the fix real quick. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's see.
it's weird. I'm sorry. It's weird because they're like, it's saying do a thing, and I can't figure out how to do that thing. Because it's like, oh, just enable this. And I'm like, uh, what? Where? <laughs> I don't I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Okay. -da -da. Shoot, I don't know uh where that option is. Alrighty. Well, this is exactly what I wanted to do for the stream. <laughs> oh, man. That sucks. That sucks. Sorry, this is the true Trico standby. I hope you guys are doing all right. Uh Okay. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I found it. All right. Let us load up the game and see how it performs. Watch, it crashes even faster. That'd be funny. At this point, I don't care anymore. Just if it crashes faster, why not? Let's do it for the lulls. Let's do it for the lulls. Lemon K, is it just me or the, is the font also slightly different on the mod? Uh, yeah, I, I noticed it too, yeah. Uh, I think, I mean, I can't really pin down what's different about the font, uh, but I did notice it. And also, what's kind of cool about the mod itself as well is that it fixes a lot of the weird grammar that Gen 1 through 3 had, where a lot of things are just kind of capitalized for no reason, and... I don't know. It's it's really cool. It really is cool for just like modernizing it. Okay. I have done the thing. I have done the fix. Let's see what's going on. God, this guy's just the next Chobin down here. All right. All right, Gavin. Does his name switch every time or has it been Gavin every time? Gavin is the new villain of Pokemon XD. Luna, it might look different because proper nouns don't have proper capitalization regular XD. Oh, yeah, yeah. Again, as someone who's really big on grammar, it's appreciated. <laughs> also, I don't know if the trainers did this in the original, but I find it very interesting. Um, the Pokemon order is not the same every time. Sometimes uh, he'll send out different ones, and then sometimes he'll send out the shadow. And that's been, like, with all the trainers, too. It's not just, like, one or two of them. It's pretty much been all of them. I'm kind of used to the main series, where it's like, if they lead with something, it usually is always that lead. Don't one-shot. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Low sweep. Take that. Ooh, a critical hit. Gosh, Mil Tank is so tanky, though. It just ate that up. Holy smokes. Okay, here comes Torkoal, the best boy. Let's go. Okay. It's such a cool effect, that like weird bell for when the drought happens. Okay, I guess I'll try to weaken Magmar here. Because I, I at least need to do something to that Magmar. So catching it will be a little easier if it comes down to that. Okay, speed fell. Here comes Shadow Blaze. Okay. Yeah, I figured. I figured. Tis a shame, but I figured. Okay, body slam. All right. You know, it's very interesting too, because looking at Torkoal, I always forget that it's not a fire rock type. Like, when I first fought it, I thought it was a fire rock type. Especially with how naturally, like, defense oriented it is, too. You'd think it would be a rock type. But, uh, Torkoal's just straight up 
just base fire. That's it. It's very interesting. Okay, not very effective. Just, we're gonna stay in here, Torkoal. Come on. Living on a dream. Okay, well, at least we knocked out the mill tank. I feel better about things now. Now that the mill tank's gone. Also, why was mill tank gripping its throat? It's being choked by Darth Vader or someone. Okay, Murkrow. I wonder how that's gonna go. Yeah, that air slash is gonna be something. Ah! Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to heal up. Luna, I think Colosseum and XD Vanilla both gave enemies adaptive leads. Oh, so that was a thing in the original games. Okay, okay. I mean, it's kind of cool. It's it's very trippy, too, because um, battling a trainer today when I was trying to get to this point, he straight up, like, did a switch, and I wasn't ready for that. Also, I wasn't... I should have healed. I What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. No. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Ugh. Okay, now we can just go back to normal. Yay! Okay. Magmar fled somewhere. It's fine. <laughs> I actually haven't been catching, like, any of the shadow- Wait, what? What? Wait, what's going on? Okay, I'm just gonna save real quick. I'm gonna save after every battle, just to make sure. Hold- Oh! Okay, I got freaked out at first, because I'm like, wait, am I stuck up in that room forever? That would have been freaky if you just can't overpower the dude, and you're just stuck up there forever. Okay, but cool, here's Team Justy. Also, something very interesting, too. I never noticed their faces in the original, because it was always so low poly. But in this, now that's like HD and like clear, I can actually tell what these characters look like. It's been a, ver been a very interesting experience. Okay, well, first of all, we're gonna go to the lab. Ah, that's some beautiful lab. Look, I don't care how weird the audio sounds as long as it just doesn't crash, man. Okay, let's go. All right. Lemon K, I get Macargo and uh, Torkoal's types confused. Yeah, it is weird, right? I mean, ma Macargo does strike me as a fire rock type for sure. But yeah, Torkoal, absolutely. It's like, you're not a fire type, huh? Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's gonna be some crunchy audio for you. Oh, goodness gracious. Also, as you can see, I have different Pokemon sets. Ah. Maybe this is just my sign that I need to take these Pokemon to Agathe Village. I need to do it the natural way instead of this weird machine that we've made. Okay. Wait, Magnemite learned Water Pulse? That's not... Magnemite doesn't learn Water Pulse. What is this? Giving illegal moves here. At least I don't think it does. I am like 99% sure it does not learn Water Pulse. Anyway, the reason I came to this machine is I want to purify Trico. It's time to purify the boy. Okay. Let's, uh... Okay, where are we? Trico, I think... I think I'll keep them the same. Perfect. Okay. Because believe it or not, I actually have a winning strategy with my Shadow Pokemon right now. They're actually pretty legit. Luna. Oh, I thought it forced you to win. Yeah, I thought that too. That's why I got like so freaked out. It put me back in the bedroom and I was like, oh shoot. I gotta win that battle. <laughs> Though I feel like I probably would have uh, figured that out uh, by someone bringing it up. Where it's just like how to get a game over in Pokemon XD. Just get yourself stuck up in the room with like no Pokemon to fight that guy. Okay. It's okay, this is what I want. We're gonna get Trico to good old Grovile. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. 
Oh my gosh, it is leveling up a ton. Which again is what I wanted, but dang. Wait, Stun Spore? Hmm. Man, they are really... Oh, it's Hidden Power Fire. That's interesting. Would I want that? Meh. That seems a bit OP. I'll give him Stun Spore instead. Okay. Oh, are we gonna see it? Trico's evolving. Here we go, baby. Some crunchy audio, but it is evolving. Let's do it. Oh, man. Oh. Shaking the very audio heavens. Man, look at the girl vile in this with his little fingers. He's creeping up. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, cool, I got the ribbon. Probably, yeah. Okay, would you like to give a name to Groviles? Sure. I'll name it what I usually call uh, my Groviles nowadays. Uh, wait, what's lowercase? There we are. Emerald. That's gonna be fun. I I mean, I was anticipating using a Trico in this playthrough, but now that XG just gives you a Trico just right there, it's too tempting, man. I had to use it. Okay. I'm gonna save just in case anything weird happens. Oh my gosh. It's mildly frustrating how it's just everything you do that isn't exploring the overworld slash Pokemon battle gets insanely slow. Okay. Can I... Oh, and everything was lovely once again. Wonderful. Okay. Whew. Well. Oh man, well that was something. Alrighty, we're only... It is not 35 minutes into the stream. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to go a little later. <laughs> Just from all the crazy issues we were having. I am so sorry, guys. Let me, Kate. Nice that it shows the hidden power type. Yeah, it is really cool, right? I, I really like that. That is really rad. I wonder if it does that in the original. It doesn't seem like it, it would be something that the game would do. It seems like more of a quality of life update. By the ROM hack. Okay, so this is the blue guy. It's okay. We're just gonna wall each other with these Pokemon here. Oh man. Pelipper with Drizzle. Okay, let's uh... Let's go for the winning strategy here. Pelipper has Surf, but it is a Shadow Surf that's super effective, and it's really cool. But uh, the ROM hack makes it into the modern version of Surf, so it'll hit everyone, so I have to make sure Vaporeon protects every time. Anyway, go get him, Pelipper. Totally not Muddy Water. Dang, Tentacle is more bulky than I thought. Well, at least we got the polywag though. Let me Kate Groval time. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I haven't used uh, I haven't used a Groval in quite a while. Wait, Whirlpool, man, that's a big meh for me, dog. All right. Yeah, probably. Oh, wait, no. Wait, why did I just... Yeah, I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. Oh, I'm gonna pay for that so much. I essentially just hurt the Porygon. No! No! I also love how they didn't account for your own side getting hurt back then. So it has, like, the reverse angle <laughs> that he had to edit in. It's, it's kind of funny. Uh, yeah. Now I can use Shadow Wave. Let's go. Now that I can protect. Luna, does Vaporeon not have Water Absorb or Storm Drain Vaporeon might have that in this? Uh, yeah, I believe Vaporeon has Storm Drain, so... But, unfortunately, Shadow Wave doesn't count as a water move. So, that's the only thing. I'm, I'm noticing 
Pelipper's weird tail thing, and it's kind of throwing me off. It's like, oh, It's kind of cursed. <laughs> Let me okay. Also, Drizzle is great. Yeah, it's cool that Pelipper gets Drizzle in this. It's really, really rad. I'm not used to Pelipper being a good Pokemon. Like, at all. Like, I know nowadays it kind of is with Drizzle, but I'm not used to it. Okay. Yeah, I definitely wish uh, Shadow Wave got the Drizzle boost. That would be pretty cool. Wouldn't make sense, but it'd be pretty cool. Okay, so we'll just... So I guess... Do we battle all the Justies? And then that lets us get into the gym? I guess we'll see. Okay. We got Cypher Peon Purple here. <laughs> he named he named him from like Perp 6 or whatever it's called. It's a dumb name, but man, you can't do him like that. Ooh, Dratini. Some of these Pokemon I am not used to seeing with their Kanto animations, Nintendo 64 animations. Oh, Bagon? It's a Shadow Bagon. Oh, that's interesting, okay. Fascinating. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll just uh, do the tried and true. Protect and then Shadow Wave. And we'll see what we can do here. Alright. Take that bag on. I knew it wasn't going to do a lot, but I had to try. Dang! I did really good against Rotini. <laughs> its animations are just so weird. I kind of love it. Okay. Uh. Let's see, what should I do against Bagon here? Maybe, maybe Bubble Beam? Actually, eh, we should probably throw out a Shadow Pokemon. Yeah, so it could resist that Shadow Fang. Yeah, and then maybe Water Pulse? That might be for the best. Even though, oh, it's gonna bring out the sun. Uh, it's worth it, it's worth it. Fine, fine, it's worth it. Oh, and we can also get a burn off too. Make it easier to catch. That this is gonna be great. Man, look at the little bag on in this. Looks like it has a mullet. <laughs> a little little dragon mullet. I don't know what you would call those things, like head tendrils or something. Okay, uh yeah, let's just go shadow burn and then water pulse. Yeah, I, I really do love, like, the original Shadow moves that XG introduces, because I know a big thing is that in the original, it's just a, there's a lot of bad Shadow moves. Like, a lot of bad ones. Oh, now I'm thinking about it. Can it burn it? Let's see. Okay, don't get another crit, just resist. Resist! Okay, good. It might not be able to burn a Shadow... Shadow Pokemon. We'll see, though. Because you can't burn a fire type, so... Might not be able to shadow burn a shadow Pokemon. Oh, no! Here we go. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay. Take that, and then... We'll hold off on Torkoal, and then we'll throw that Pokeball and hope it doesn't crash anything because as you can see it doesn't even like go all the way it like stops halfway oh no maybe not it went all the way that time hmm. interesting perfection okay dang it's tempting to use that salamence but I don't know man it's a lot of XP because I know um, a neat thing the ROM hack also does is if the Pokemon got a Mega Evolution at some point, when they get to their stage that had that Mega Evolution, it'll have the stats and ability of the Mega Evolution. So essentially, if I raise that Bagon to be a Salamence, it would have the stats and ability of Mega Salamence, which is very tempting. <laughs> it's a very cool thing. All right, Cypher Peon, Gree 6. I think that was the one we faced last time, right? 
Let me Kate. Yay. Yeah. Bag on in the bag. Get in the bag, bag on. Okay. So I think this is the third grunt. It would be really funny if uh, fighting these guys had like no point. Oh, well, I think one of them has like a key or something. I think that's what's going on. I forget. Okay, Shadow Wave, protect, do the combo. There we go. Here comes Shadow Wave from good old Pelipper. Go get him. I believe in you, Pelipper. Do it. Oh. Oh, it's so close. It is so close. Oh, what? What's that? Seed Bomb. And Seed Bomb. Seed Bomb to Pelipper, huh? Interesting. I mean, can't fail with Seed Bomb, but it... Very interesting they went for that. I guess just Hyper Voice and then, uh, to my, against my better judgment, Water, Water Pulse. Oh wait, no, Cacnea has a uh, Water Absorb, probably. Judging from the one I, Cacturn I used in Scarlet and Violet. Okay. Ah, oh, I love its little animation though, I love the roll. Yep, that's what I thought, okay. Here comes C-Bomb, oh, this is gonna hurt. Please go for Pelipper again. Perfect. Definitely gonna have to heal up. Okay. Probably just go for our Hyper Voice again. Wait, no! Ah! ah! I did it again! Come on, please. Yay! Awesome. Oh, that's right, you have the bed in town. I could just uh, go sleep on that bed and regain some HP. Okay, cool, we took down the green guy. <laughs> okay. Did you drop anything? Okay. Oh, I wonder if it, I wonder if it's the case where it's programmed that you have to fight all like six of them and then the last guy drops the key. That's probably exactly what they did. Hey, I I, I don't fault them. Gotta fill up those play times, you know. If you could just find the key immediately, it'd be a very uh, very quick game. It's a bed. Want to take a rest? Absolutely. Aha. Oh, one thing I'm actually very hyped about is uh, <laughs> the dude hacked it, so you can actually get a Bonsley in this game. That is a uh, kind of randomly pretty hype. Not gonna lie, the idea of being able to use a Bonsley in a Gen 3 game is kind of insane, and. You know me, I gotta use it. <laughs> Cause I know the gimmick with it was that in XD, it has, you could just flat out use a Bonsley in Battle Bingo, but you could only use it in Battle Bingo. So it was like, not really a big deal. But no, it has like all of its animations and you know, the stuff it could do. It's programmed to be a Pokemon. So the ROM hack gives it to you. And that's just, that's just really cool. That's really rad. Okay, uh, I think we'll just go for natural moves here. Yeah, no protect. Just go for the go for the bobbers. Also, it really weirds me out that uh, Bubble Beam is stronger than Water Pulse. I thought Water Pulse was stronger. <laughs> Luna, I think you could just skip them in vanilla at least. Oh, you can skip the grunts? Oh. I guess I could uh, just give that a shot here. I'll just go into the pre-gym and then see. Uh... Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, because I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably not going to do the battle CDs this playthrough. <laughs> in fact, I don't even think I did them in the original. XD has this like whole post game that I never even really attempted in the original. Okay. Let's head into the pre-gym. Oh, oh shoot. You're evil, aren't you? Welcome to the Prestige Precept Center, or as everyone says, the pre-gym. Oh, you have a letter from the mayor for Justy, is that right? Oh, I hear a little voice whispering to me. <gasps> and that voice tells me to take that letter from you. Oh shoot! It's Cypher P on Pat! <laughs> Pat. That just sounds like a cool, like, co-worker. It's like, oh, Pat. Everyone likes Pat. 
Pidgeot. Oh, oh shoot. I do appreciate that the uh, Prestige Gym gets its own uh, area to fight. You don't just fight in Phoenix. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, a Shadow Pidgeot. Ooh, oh shoot. And it probably has the stats of the Mega. That sounds very tempting, not gonna lie. Do I want that? Let's, uh, let's, uh, do a Shadow Wave and then see where we stand with that Pidgeot over there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch it with Pokeballs, but I will try. Noctowl, use Protect now. Come on, Noctowl. Shadow Sky. Oh, shoot. Ah. Taking away my weather bonuses. How dare you. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. Dang, though. Okay. Oh, this one's going to be a hard fight, I can already tell. Oh, something, uh, a little small thing that I see the ROM hack does that I really, really like is that when you take damage from weather, it doesn't play the animation of you taking damage. It just, you just take damage off screen. And that's really nice because in the original, you would have to sit through the whole animation of every Pokemon getting chip damage and they would do their long animation. It was very tedious. So I really like that uh, that's changed. Okay, so Hyper Voice. Let's see what Hyper Voice does. Okay, not as much, I figured. You're going for Shadow Storm again? Oh no, no, oh no, this is an actual attack. Oh shoot. Oh, yikes, dang. Roost, oh God, no. No, no, I don't like. Again, I say that this ROM hack don't play, but I'm not kidding. It does not play. Oh gosh, Roost. That is gonna suck. Um, yeah, probably just protect and then Shadow Wave. I know the Noctowl is probably gonna protect too, but... Luna, pretty sure you can get the battle CDs if you skip the Hexagon Brothers too. Oh, really? Okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense. You don't just get locked out. Yeah, this is just an op another opportunity to get their shadows. Yeah. You know, in hindsight, I probably could have just snagged Trico from the green guy here. Because when I played it uh, on stream, they raised the shadow Pokemon's levels up, which was really cool. Would've been cool to get like a higher level Trico, but oh well, we have Grovile, he's here. Yay, go down Noctowl, screw you. Whew. Okay, so Pidgeot's right there. Let's uh... Da -da 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 -da. I kinda wanna get a Yawn off with good old Marsh Tomp. Let me K, ooh, bingo. I know, I'm so, I'm so excited. This ROM hack's hard and it, I probably shouldn't use Bingo, but it's too tempting to use Bingo. I gotta use Bingo. Not to mention, I actually really like Bonsley's animations from uh, XD and like Battle, Battle Revolution, but I never get to see them. <laughs> so it'd be really cool to get its like Looney Tunes uh, shuffle it does back to the field. Again, very hyped if we can get that going. Actually, wait, Mark. Yeah, no, 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 I do want that, okay. Yeah. Okay, and then Water Pulse to Swallow. Acrobatics. Oh, it's probably not holding an item. Dang, yeah. Let me Kate, wow, Pidgeot is so cool. Yeah, Pidgeot is actually a very rad Pokemon. I usually never, jeez, Halu, that does so much damage and confused, no. usually never get a chance to talk about it, but I'm actually a pretty decently big Pidgeot fan. Like, I would probably say it's like, it and like Staraptor battle for like best regional bird. Oh, but then again, there's Corviknight. Dang. Ah, shoot, there goes my chance at status. Oh well. Um. Well, I could try 
Okay, I could try Grovile. I don't know it's, if it's gonna be a good idea here, but we'll give it a shot. If I could just get... Hmm. Get a Stun Spore off on the Pidgeot, maybe? Okay. I'm willing to sacrifice... Wait, Facade. That won't do enough... That's not gonna do damage. Please don't do enough. Oh my god. Please. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I've never seen the MH for Grovile. Just like, yeah, I got you. Shadow Storm. Gosh. Oof. Don't one shot. Dang it. Oh my goodness. The shadowy aura faded away. Okay, well that's good, because I think I'm at a shadow Pokemon here. Oh no, I got Torkoal. Oh, and I got a, a good old drought for you guys. Cool. I should call Torkoal California when I purify it. Da -da -da. Watermelon Cat, hey there. Good to see ya. Dang, this is a cool Pokemon game. It is pretty cool, I am a big XD fan. It is, it looks like a spinoff, but the shadow moves and all that looks sick, yeah. It is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Uh, oh, Sunny Day is the move it gets. Okay, well, I mean, that's interesting. Hmm. I'm kind of low-key terrified if I use Ember on Pidgeot over there. We'll see how it goes. Uh, don't! <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Brutal. All my Pokemon are getting one shot, and I can't ha I can't stand it. Is Torkoal just gonna be the last man standing all the time? Come on, Torkoal! No! 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 Okay, perfect. Okay, take that. Gotcha. Whew. Okay, so we should be all right against Pidgeot. Hopefully, that is not famous last words. Um. Okay. Uh, shoot, I should probably get it out of rage mode, yeah. Because if I can't heal it, we're going to be in trouble. Even though I feel like Pidgeot's just... Okay, well, I mean, there you go, too. Oh, Reflect was up. Interesting. I dare not try to flamethrower it. I am just going to go for Pokeballs. Let's try it. Alright, Loki just gonna try to catch a stage 3 Pokemon with Pokeballs. Also, yes, I did check. I can't find Great Balls or Ultra Balls. This is what we're dealing with. Okay, cool. Whew, okay. That's good news. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, steal our Pokemon, will ya? Oh, that's some, that's some sarcasm. All right, I kind of want to low-key add that Pidgeot to my team. Let's, uh, let's go see what we can do. I might go replace the Marsh Tomp, because the Marsh Tomp isn't really doing anything for my team right now. It just has Yawn, which is a consistent sleep move, which is nice, but, um, honestly, it's not the best sleep status move ever. I wonder what this thing gets. I mean, Shadow Storm was pretty good. Yeah, I think, I think, okay, I think we're sticking with that. Watermelon Cat, come on, Torkoal. Yeah, Torkoal, Torkoal's low-key become an MVP here. Okay, we will, uh, take the bed and do a sleep. And I'm gonna save. That's kind of just been my process with the ROM, is that just save after every battle. Because you never know. You never know. And it's heartbreaking when it when something happens, you have to do all the battles again. Okay. Let's uh, keep going in. Also, guys, uh, thank you very much for your patience at the start of the stream. Again, don't want to jinx anything, but um, I appreciate that... Um, I appreciate the patience. <laughs> That's just what I'm trying to say. Oh, shoot. 
You are good, but the way you battle is different. Pokemon are just tools for battling. That's not true! The way you battle, you play things too safe with your Pokemon. I mean, you guys are pretty tough in this ROM hack. It's, it is actually kind of, um... It's kind of refreshing to actually be fearful of Cypher. Because, the yeah, again, these Pokemon don't play. It feels like I'm playing, like, Emerald Kaizo or something. Watermelon Cat. I think Torkoal's pretty cute, not gonna lie. Torkoal's, Torkoal's pretty cute. I, uh, yeah, I, I can see it. I remember really liking uh, Ash's Torkoal. It would, like, constantly, um... It was, like, a bit of a worry wart, and then... <laughs> It had this like weird gag where it would just like expel smoke whenever it cried. It's kind of kind of endearing. Okay, uh yep, let's do the tried and true strategy. Protect Vaporeon. Protect. Aerial lace from Scythe. Oof. Oh man, okay. Rock blood no, no, no. No. <laughs> oh, please. Gosh dang it. These battles, man. Yep, I am gonna have to do some grinding this week. That is for dang sure. I mean, I don't even want to know how the battle with Snaddle is gonna go. Alright. Let's do... Hmm... We might try to just get rid of the Heracross. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Yeah, because I think the Heracross is a Mega Heracross. And it should have Skill Link with Rock Blast, so I do not like that. So let's try to get rid of that thing. Ooh, it's confused. Okay, Agility, it's fine. Is it me or does Scyth Scyther look a little weird in his like Pokemon Stadium sprite? Like his head is like way too big and it throws me off. No! See watch, it's gonna hit five times. Yeah, it does have skill link. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Okay, take that. Okay, good. Okay, we're safe. I just didn't want it to rock blast the Pidgeot with my main thing. Okay, yeah, Pinsir. Oh, and of course, it's a Mega Pinsir. This game is trying to convince me to hate Mega Pokemon. It's not gonna work, though. I love them. Uh, I guess we'll just protect. Yeah, probably just Shadow Storm to Scyther. Okay, Here comes another Aerial Ace. It's a Pidgeot, which is interesting. But I guess they recognize the biggest threat right now. Come on, Shadow Storm, come on. A critical hit. Ooh, perfection. Watermelon Cat. Uh, dude, Heracross with Skill Link is pretty tough. Oh, yeah. Skill Link is, like, a really dang good ability. You underestimate it. It's, uh, it catches you off guard. Okay, I'm gonna switch to Torkoal now. <laughs> uh, Shadow Sky? Shadow... I think Shadow Breeze is like Tailwind. So I guess we'll just whittle down Pinsir here. Oh yeah, this is gonna work great. This is gonna work great. <laughs> okay. Shadow Storm. Take that. Critical hit. Shadow Edge. I wonder what this is gonna do. Okay. Didn't matter. <laughs> Not funny. Didn't laugh. Okay. Uh, again, we'll just, uh... Whittle this thing down to catch it. Yeah, I will say, the Shadow Pokemon you could get in this one are... Definitely a lot more interesting than the, uh, Vanilla XD. Because I think Vanilla XD's problem was that a lot of the more interesting Shadow Pokemon kind of show up later in the game. Like, that's when you can start getting, like, Snorlax and Electabuzz and stuff like that. Like, some heavy hitters. Uh, 
Okay. For some reason, I had a weird moment where, uh... Oh, shoot. I, I guess we'll just start chucking Pokeballs, yeah. I had a weird moment where I kind of, like, my eyes glazed over, and I read that it's light that burns the sky, and I'm like, no, there's no light that burns the sky. You can't just add light that burns the sky into this game. <laughs> just casual Necrozma signature move. Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. How you doing, Kaylee? Hope you're doing good. Baron Beauty. Hey, it's good to see ya. I see a bro, machine guns, orange berries <laughs> at their face. Thank you, Baron. Thank you. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take all the orange berries I can eat. I love orange berries. Okay, so let's stay here and then just uh, proceed to keep catching. Let's keep going. Catchy catch. Ice, hello everyone. Hey Ice, how you doing? It's good to see you. Good to see everyone. Hope everyone's having a lovely, lovely Saturday. Please. 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 Yay. Oh man. There's something telling me to use that pincer, but I, sh I shouldn't. I don't want to. I shouldn't. I don't. Ugh. You have no appreciation for our work. No, I have appreciation. You guys are way harder in the ROM hack. Trust me. I have all the appreciation. Oh god, now I have to fight Justy. Well, I am gonna use the bed real quick. After I save. Watermelon cat. I love citrus berries. I do I do love citrus berries too. I mean <laughs> obviously on terms of taste, uh, it's kinda hard to discern since they <clears throat> don't actually exist. But on terms of aesthetic, citrus berry is pretty cool. I think tomato was always my favorite though. Oh, I also like the Enigma berry. It's just a very satisfying shape to it that's really cool looking. Okay, here we go. Justy time. What do I want to do here? Okay. Kind of low-key scared. Should I save again? I'll save again. Again, I know it's not fun to watch, but... Just so we don't have to deal with all the busy work of backtracking. You're good. You figured out that I'm the real Justy. Huh? You're wondering if I'm a fake too? Okay, yes, if you want to be precise. I'm the real Justy fake. <sighs> Even Justy couldn't do a thing when we showed him we had hostages galore. He's a, being a model prisoner along with the pre-mayor. Wait, and the mayor? He's not the pre-mayor. He's the mayor and the rest of them right here in the pre-gym's basement. Also called the prestige precept gym. If you want to play a hero and rescue them, well, you need to deal with me first, kid. All right, here we go. Cypher P on Craig. I mean, the problem, the problem is that I get he wanted to make all the names normal, but it's just funny. It's like, let's do this, Derek. It's time, it's you and me, Bob. Like, they're so normal sounding. Okay, intimidate, which is fine. Okay. Oh, oh, this is gonna be good. Just don't one-shot Pelipper, please. Baron Beauty summons a massive bakery filled with sweet treats, tea, and smooth jazz to heal and buff everyone. Oh. That sounds really good. <laughs> Baron Beauty has such a good eye and ear, probably, for like the aesthetic, the chill, the chill vibes. Those indescribable, like, lo-fi beat kind of places, you know? I always like hearing the take. Uh, okay, I think this is gonna work. Funny enough, I always forget Masquerain is a bug flying type. I always think it's bug water. It is bug flying. And it throws me off. Because I believe Surskit is bug water, but then Masquerain is bug flying. Watermelon Cat. I think of Citrus as Citrus. I feel stupid. I never caught that. Wow. I never caught that. That's supposed to be an orange. Oh my goodness. Okay, I mean, because 
I know the obvious ones, like tomato, and then I think there's like one that looks like a banana. I never caught that a citrus berry is an orange. Oh, what is this? Oh, I can't believe I'm so dumb. Ugh. Ooh, pile of swine. It's a shadow, okay. I wonder if it has the sets of uh, mammoth swine. Either way, I probably won't use it. You get a mammoth swine in Coliseum, it's too, uh, <laughs> too familiar for me. Uh, let's protect, and then... I guess it's just a uh, shadow wave? Yeah, I think it's for the best. Bear and beauty. Though there is no pumpkin or cucumber berries. Oh, a pumpkin berry would be really fun. No! Dang it! Shadow shake. Huh. Yeah, a pumpkin berry would actually low key be pretty fun. All right, Emerald, let's do this. Oh yeah. Oh. It is so satisfying being able to use the Hoenn starters in the Hoenn Battler game. I still think that is just a very weird thing that, you know, honestly, both Coliseum and XD kind of f fell victim to, is you don't get the Hoenn starters naturally at all. You have to trade for them, and it's just like, but it's, it's the first gen with them. We get to see all their new animations and stuff. Oh, shoot. Wait, Shadow Shake is Earthquake. Oof. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> Grow Vile, no. Oh, man. Well, at least we got Bubble Beam. Watermelon Cat. Dude, the candy apple sold at Kitakami Hall in uh, Teal Mask looks so good. Oh yeah. I wanna, I would wanna visit Kitakami so dang bad. It looks so cool. I would love to have a candied apple from there. All right, when in doubt, Torkoal. I wonder if I should purify Torkoal. Or keeping it as a shadow is pretty good. Because the thing is, it resists a lot of the shadow moves, and it's been pretty dang helpful in that regard. Um, I might protect and then flamethrower the Skarmory. Yeah, I might keep... I might not purify Torkoal for a little bit. Because being able to resist shadow moves... Like, look at that. And it's like four levels below it. Actually, maybe not even that. Maybe, like, five levels. Good lord, Torkoal. The MVP. Okay, and then we got ourselves a nice drought-boosted flamethrower to Skarmory. Hung on just barely. Does that have a focus, Sash? That's interesting. Um... I don't know if it's faster, but we will see. I think I'll just chuck the Pokeball at um, Piloswine right now. Fair and Beauty, Premier Ball, I know. I love Premier Ball. I had to use it on a tree on Trico though. Because if any Pokemon's gonna go in the Premier Ball, it's gotta be the Trico. Oh hey, there we go. Nice. Good job, me. Ryuto, whoever I'm pretending to be right now. Haha. -ha. Cool. Go down Skarmory. We did it! Awesome. And then I think that's it. I think we beat this guy and then, uh, yeah, we can move on. Awesome. Awesome. Snicker. Oh no, I mean literally Snicker. Like, hee <laughs> hee. Sorry, pal. Beating me won't set the bunch downstairs free. You need the elevator key to get into pre gyms basement. Sorry to say nobody trusts me with anything important like that. Huh? Wait. Oh, no. No! Where do you get the key? Oh, now I gotta figure out where you get the key. I was gonna- I was hoping it was just gonna be a dumb gag. Where it's like, huh, well, like anyone would trust me with the key. And then he would run and, it, you know, he'd drop it. But no, I have to go scavenge a town for the key. Actually, maybe I can cut down on time here. <laughs> Let's consult the the uh, the P Stardier 
uh, system uh, of the l location sensory key. Let me see. Where's the key to the pre gym? <laughs> XD. Okay. It requires defeating Snaddle. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, I thought we had to save the town and then we get the key. Oh. Oh, you have to go to the Colosseum. Okay. Well, I guess we could do that. All right. Oh, that dude's gonna battle us. I could already see it. The look on his face, he's gonna battle us hard. All right. Baron Beauty, the way he crawls back after being hit is so cute. Like, I will fight for the bro, waddle, waddle, waddle. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the animations are just very endearing. They did really good on him. Cypher Peon Cory. He has Vulpix and Ivysaur. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Look at Ivysaur in this. It looks so weird. I mean, it's not as cursed as the Venusaur, but, like, I, I thought Ivysaur looked decent. Look at it. Oh, it looks weird. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, let's KO that thing. Okay. Protect, and then... Oh, Pelipper gets Yawn. Ooh. Dang, there, there are some really good movesets here. So I'm just like, ooh, do I want that? <laughs> Mischievous Mouse Mound. Hello, it's been a bit, yes? Yeah, it's good to see ya. Welcome back. Hope you enjoy the stream, my friend. Watermelon Cat. Uh, Cat. They do step back before they faint and go back to the ball. <laughs> A lot of them do. I know this one, a lot of them were kind of adjusted so they look like that. I know in Stadium 1 and 2, they legitimately just fall over fainted. And it takes like a second or two before they go back to the ball. And I guess they must have thought it was just a little too dark. So a lot of them just kind of like, they go back to the ball immediately before they get a chance to hit the ground. Okay, so you're both grass types. Um... I guess just Hyper Voice. Uh, okay, yeah, let's just yawn the Nuzleaf. Shadow Slap. Ow. Wait, what was that gonna do? What was that gonna do? And then Sludge Bomb. Okay. Okay, okay, we're, we're in it. We're still in it. Oh, gosh. Again, the flinch rate and, like, move accuracy rate is brutal in this. It feels like any move that gets a chance to flinch will flinch. Okay. Okay, so Yawn is good. We're good to protect. And then Shadow Wave. Let's go. Baron Beauty. Yes. What is your favorite Pokemon? I want... I wonder if uh, Baron Beauty's asking that to the chat or to me. So, I guess we'll just go both. Yes, to everyone. What is your favorite Pokemon? Let me know. Uh, for my favorite, you know, it's gotta be Trico. <laughs> I mean, I know I just did the uh, top 10 Pokemon list the, the um, I think it was a month ago, I think. <clears throat> Trico's pretty definitive. On top. This will just go Hyper Voice and then, um... Yeah, I, okay, I think this is a good idea. I think this is a good idea. Okay, another Sludge Bomb to Grovile. Don't one-shot. I hate. Good lord, Grovile can't do anything. You're not fast at all. You can't get a single hit in, man. It's okay, I don't blame you. I blame the ROM hack. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Okay, uh... We'll bring out Combuskin. Let's... We'll allow it to get one-shotted, why not? <laughs> okay. So, I think we'll go for another Hyper Voice, and then we'll try to just flat-out catch the Nuzleaf. Here we go. Watermelon Cat. <laughs> He did a spin in his peon outfit. Yeah, I love their, like, defeated animation. They just roll backwards. Vaporeon. 
or uh, sorry, Baron Beauty. Vaporeon shook its head in mane. My heart, me heart, my only thud so hard. <laughs> yeah, I do love Vaporeon's little animations. Chansey saw it today while I was like grinding XD to get to this point, and she was just like, looks like a cat. I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's absolutely a cat. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, Baron Beauty minus Corsola. I love it so much. Yes. Good old Corsola, good old Cherry. Ooh, I wonder if... I wonder if a Corsola is in this. Because I'm trying to think. There wasn't one in Coliseum. I don't remember if there was one in XD. I wonder if there's one in XG, though, which is the ROM hack we're playing. I'll have to take a looky-loo. Let's continue to try to catch... The Nuzleaf, and then I think Aerial Ace does more than Ember. I think. Hopefully that's the case. Watermelon Cat. I'm under a curse where moves that poison poison me 90% of the time. Oh gosh. That's a pretty decently low rate too, right? Dang. That's quite the curse. Okay. Take that, Aerial Ace. Also, I love, like, Lil' Combuskin's animations. It's got all the martial arts moves. Ow. Execute, don't be like that. Also, I feel like I haven't seen an Execute in, like, 20 years. <laughs> I'm not used to their little animations. Let me Kate Flygon, yeah! Now that is a goaded choice right there. Gotta love Flygon. Uh, yeah, let's just go Flamethrower. I might switch out Combuskin, try to get the Shadow Gauge down on Pidgeot a little bit more. Yeah, Flygon's so great. Holding out for Legend ZA, giving us a Mega Flygon, hopefully. Ice, so what is this ROM hack out about, Dean? Uh, so it's called Pokemon XG next gen. Uh, it's a ROM hack of XD, obviously, and it essentially modernizes the game. So Pokemon XD is like gen three, but the ROM hack adds like the physical special split. It adds moves from the modern day. It adds a lot of like stat adjustments and Pokemon. Okay, well maybe not Pokemon. You, you can only get gens one through three, but just a lot of little small things and move sets. Uh, it also changes all the shadow Pokemon you can get. So it makes it like more, they add a lot more interesting shadow Pokemon. Like for example, like I get the Hoenn starters. In the original XD, you just flat out could not. So it's kind of cool being able to play XD with the Hoenn starters. Okay, we're not gonna deal with Mirror B today. <laughs> we'll, say, we'll save the good mirror another day. Right now I gotta go fight Snaddle. I put him in the thumbnail, I have to fight him. Alright, here we go. Oh, I love the Coliseum. Phoenix Phoenix Coliseum is so cool. Alright, here we go. Oh! I'm not used to actually coming out on the field here. Man, look at that strut. Oh, hi, little boy. Didn't anyone tell you to stay out? No. Well, wait. Oh, the... the uh, Craig. Craig did, yeah. You must be Emma. <laughs> So yeah, lots of lots of small little changes with this game. Like for example, Pelipper got Drizzle in like Gen 7. But oh, I guess we see a Shadow Pokemon. A Shadow Hariyama, okay. But Pelipper gets Drizzle in this game. That's right, it can summon the rain. Which was a Gen 7 thing. So it's really dang cool, especially for people who've played the original games. Dang, Manectric is gonna one-shot Pelipper, and I'm not ready. Okay, uh, shoot. I guess we'll just, uh... We'll just try to knock out the Manectric. Ah, here comes Thunder. Okay, oh, and it's 100% because it's in the rain! No! Oh, dang it. <sighs> okay, Bubble Beam, let's go. 
Baron Beauty summons a macaron of strawberry flavoring to the Chansey with a cup of, of light green tea. Oh, man. Actually, I don't know if she likes macarons. I gotta ask. I love macarons. They're very tasty. Also, Shadow Throw. Oh, oh what? What? Uh, as you can see, the ROM hack as well, it adds new moves. Like, straight up new moves. Shadow Throw was not a thing in the original. Okay, how do I want to do this? Alright, Emerald. It's up to you, buddy. Okay. Hyper Voice? That's not too bad. I think we'll give Hyper Voice a shot. Okay. I think we might have summon. Come on, Pidgeot. Hyper Voice, let's go. Take that. Okay, it wasn't gonna do enough. We knew, but we just had to get rid of Manic Trick. Okay, cool. Rage mode, that's not good. Okay. Here comes Stun Spore. Ugh. And I swear, a lot of the move accuracy is like, so many moves missing this. Gosh dang, Grovile. Please stop getting one shot at by literally every move. I know that's my fault for not grinding more, but dang it, it is frustrating. <sighs> Pidgeot's in rage mode, cool. Here comes Drizzle. Oh no, no Drizzle. That Pelipper must not have Drizzle. Okay. I guess we'll just, uh... We'll burn Hariyama. Alright, let's go. Shadow Storm. Let's go. Super effective. Perfect! Awesome. Ice. Oh, I see. It sounds cool. It is very, very cool. I am very delighted with XG. I, I've actually always wanted to play it, but the installation was always weird, and I always thought you needed to actually have, like, a Wii to do it, and, like, download, you know, th th like, a program or something, and I'm like, eh, I can't figure that out. I'm not good at programming. But, uh, Luna, Luna straight up let me know, let me know that uh, there was a ROM hack version available that you could just play on an emulator. So, yep. Now I'm able to play it. And I'm very happy, because I've always wanted to. Is it more difficult too? Absolutely. Uh, grinding was not fun for this, because it is extreme. It is way more difficult than the original game. And I am not used to it. <laughs> Yeah, it is kicking my butt. Like, this battle in the original, I think... I think I looked it up, like, today. I think it was against, like, a Gulpin and a Seal. And this is against a Manectric, which has Mega Manectric stats. And then a Shadow Hariyama, which gets, like, a special fighting Shadow move. So, yeah, I'm pretty much playing XD Kaizo right now. So, it has been pretty crazy. Um, okay, I guess I'll just, uh, Hyper Voice, I don't know if I want to, okay, we'll go Hyper Voice and Flamethrower and then just see where things end up. Ta-da! Okay. Take that. If I faint you, whatever. You've been mean to me this whole match. Okay, Flamethrower. Okay. Okay, I could catch you now. Cool. <sighs> okay, here comes Vaporeon again. Yeah, just protect. Okay, that Pokeball, let's go. Lemon Kate's feeling very lemon today. That's always good to hear. <laughs> Got some cool shinies in Scarlet and Violet, so doing good. Oh, nice, nice. What uh, shinies have you been getting, if you don't mind me asking? I'll, I'm always interested to hear uh, how the hunts are going for the good old shinies. God, Hariyama's just wanting to bully poor Vapoleon over there. Okay, let's, uh, I'll protect again, and hopefully I can get another protect off if this Pokeball fails. Okay. 
Beer and Beauty. Uh, I have been playing Pokemon since Blue came out in the USA. Nice. And I got a, or I only got a Shiny in Pokemon Go, Eevee, and Pokemon Sleep. Oh, I hear ya, I hear ya. It's always fun to get a Shiny, though. Let's Go is definitely the game for Shinies. I always stand by that. Okay, don't faint. It would be nice to snag you. Maybe I can use you in the battle against Snaddle? I don't know. I mean, 33 plus Hariyama. I can't look a gift horse in the mouth, you know? Come on. Don't faint. Don't faint. Don't faint. Yes! Awesome. Whew. <sighs> I got beat by some little kid. That's right. I'm some little kid. Fair and Beauty. It made me love Meowth and Bellsprout more. Oh, shoot. No! No! I didn't know it was another bell. Oh, God. Oh, we're in trouble. But anyway, yeah. It made me love Meowth and Bellsprout more. Nice, nice. I actually... Meowth is probably adorable in Let's Go. I don't think I've ever seen one in Let's Go. I mean, I probably have, but probably looks really cute, like, falling behind you. Oh, Shadow Houndoom. Interesting. Ice. Dang, your team is getting messed up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, it is a hard, hard rum hack. I am getting curb stomped not having a good time shadow tease what is this oh it's a taunt okay interesting solar beam of course i mean it's not gonna do that much but still i'm offended <laughs> grand beauty is there a channel in your Discord where you can get help putting emulators on Apple products. Sorry if it's annoying. No, 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 you're all good. Um, not really a channel for it, but like, uh, I, I don't know. Honestly, like, I think it could just fit in like general games chat, probably, I think. I don't know. I've, I've had people talk about how to like set up emulators and stuff in the Discord before, so it's not really, it's not really that big of a deal. So feel free to ask. I, I don't get antsy with that sort of thing. I know, like, some Discord channels do that, where it's like, oh, emulators, we can't talk about them, but it's like, I don't I don't care. No, no, no Nintendo spy is going to be, like, <laughs> in my server. You're good. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just keep flamethrowering. Shadow Blaze. Oof. Again, like, Torkoal's just... Oh, man. And Solar Beam. I mean, Torkoal's been putting in the work. It's a good tank. The problem is it's usually the sole survivor and then it can't do anything. Entering Rage Mode. Ah, uh, that's gonna be the deciding factor. I mean, we already lost this, but still. Okay, yeah, I was hoping just for a little bit of XP, maybe. Okay, Shadow Blaze. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. The inf the interesting part with this ROM hack, though, is uh, something that I find out very quickly is that Pokemon that aren't Shadow really do get rocked, and that kind of wasn't a thing in the original. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, Shadow Pokemon could be strong in the original, but the gap is so wide in XG because there's so many good Shadow moves now, and Shadow moves are always super effective, and it's not really balanced for that, so it feels like you're at a disadvantage if you don't use a Shadow Pokemon. So it seems like the meta is always, like, snagging a Shadow Pokemon and using it because it's usually a high level with good moves. So, it's something to get used to. Because again, I kind of just want to build my team up and stuff, but really, 
the best thing I can do is just, like, grab whatever overpowered shadow Pokemon there is. Like, I'll try adding some shadows right now. Uh, Pidgeot can stay. Torkoal's usually the last survivor, so... Uh, let's see. Wait. Pinsir, what do you have? I think we'll try to go for Piloswine. Yeah, it's probably for the best. We'll keep Grove all around for the lulz, though. Okay. Alrighty. Time to head up top. I wonder what Pokemon we should lead with. Yeah, because the meta kind of changed a little bit. Pidgeot and Hariyama. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if Hariyama gets a fighting move, it'll help us deal with the Houndoom. Okay. Save. Save. Perfect. All right. Okay. Limicate. Ooh, I want to hunt Shiny Bellsprout. I forget what Shiny Bellsprout looks like. Oh, cool. We only have to fight the second guy. Sweet. I'm going to take a looky-loo. Shiny Bellsprout. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like the yellow one. That's pretty cool. I do like. <clears throat> you know what Shiny Pokemon betrayed me rather recently, though? Was um, Noctowl. I always thought Shiny Noctowl was cool because of the anime. Because it's like gold with red wings. It actually looks really cool. It doesn't look that good in the games by comparison. I got a Shiny Noctowl and I looked at it and I'm like, oh, it's like a muted yellow and you barely see the red. It's like, I don't know. I was so used to seeing it in the anime and I felt, I felt rather betrayed. <clears throat> I guess we'll just go Hyper Voice. And then, uh, Shadow Max. Okay. I guess my better judgment, I'm gonna go into the menu and see what these moves do. Shadow Throw. Violent Throw forces the target to switch. Power doubles if the user's suffering. Oh, Facade. <clears throat> oh, it's Belly Drum. Shadow Max's Belly Drum. That's interesting. Fascinating. Eh, we'll just use Shadow Throw. Okay, here comes Shadow Fang. But well, we're both shadows, so we should be fine. <clears throat> okay, we're good, we're good. Hyper voice. Go for a Pidgeot. Perfect. Just a little bit of a uh, little bit of damage. Okay, shadow throw. Ah, well, it's okay. I got switched. Get out of here. Soul Rock. Okay. I wonder if Soul Rock knows Solar Beam as well. Probably knows like Fire Blast or something. I could be that guy and just use Shadow Sky. <laughs> actually, I, sh I totally should. Now I think about it. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm totally gonna do that. That's a great strategy. Because then it won't get a solar beam boost or anything. There we go. Moon blast. Moon blast. A fairy move. Ooh. Yeah, as you guys well know, moon blast was definitely not a thing in Gen 3. But yeah, fairy types are totally in this game. Really rad. Okay, hopefully Lunatone gets knocked out. Oh, did we do 40 chest move? Oh, 40 chess! Oh, man! That felt oddly satisfying. Okay, let's go Hyper Voice and then Shadow Throw. And then hopefully we don't KO it. I don't think we should. Shouldn't do too much damage. Okay. Hyper Voice. Okay, uh, hopefully this works out. Shadow throw. Okay, perfect. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay. 
Let's do... Yeah, I think we'll just throw a Pokeball. Wish Hariyama got, like, Protect or something. I think I'll just... Yeah, I think we'll just, uh, Super Potion. There we go. Nice. Here we go, Snag Ball time! Go get him. Okay. Ah, no! Oh, this is gonna be a hard catch, I can already tell. Shadow Fang. You know, I don't know why I'm dealing with this. I could totally just, um, status him. Let's see, he's targeting Hariyama. So, I'll switch out Pidgeot with Emerald? And then hopefully we can get a Stun Spore off. Hopefully Houndoom isn't that fast. But I wouldn't be surprised if it is that fast. Okay, Pokeball. Go! Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes! Awesome. Cool, even. Sweet. I don't think I lost a Pokemon, too, so I don't have to go back to the bed. Okay, so it's me that gets lost. Yeah, get out of here, you fool. You chump! Alright. Uh, yeah, save after that. Savey save. Savey save. We'll dance and we'll play. Okay. Use some potions. I definitely need to pay a trip to the good old Pokemart. Okay. Got our two overpowered shadows. <gasps> there he is. It's Snattle. Oh man. The Cypher Admin theme. Oh man. I'm bopping and grooving. Forget it. You can't have our videotapes. You can't do this to the press. Oh, for a prisoner, you're rather hard nosed, I'd say. But it just wouldn't do to have those tapes broadcast to the public. I have been promised the position of Ore's uh, governor by none other than Master Grievel. So you must understand, it wouldn't do to have it be known that I have muzzled the citizens of Phoenix. If that got out, imagine what harm it would bring to my pristine political record. Now hand over the videotapes, please. It's very interesting. I don't think we've ever gotten a Pokemon villain that was straight up like the governor. Oh, but then again, Chairman Rose. Huh, XD was ahead of its time. I don't care about your sick aspirations. Don't you dare underestimate the power of free press. ONBS stakes its very existence on delivering the truth for justice. I will get this news out. It's so sad that you won't listen to reason. Very well, I suppose you leave me with no option. <gasps> Man, what's with the wetsuit, bro? He looks, <laughs> he's wearing like the Turo wetsuit. Again, XD ahead of its time, man. Oh, you! Are you the dastardly child who won't stop fooling in our affairs? Oh, Barney, what were you doing? Get rid of this pest! Barney? Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Snaddle, sir. Aye, aye, sir. He just quadrupled the sir. Hey, boy, playtime is over. Says Barney, the cypher peon. Oh, man. You can tell he's elite because his ribbons go up and not down. Oh no! It's the cursed Venusaur! Ah! Oh man. Oh gosh. Oh, okay, it's a Shadow Venusaur though. I don't want to use it. <laughs> I straight up do not want to use it. It is very cursed looking. Okay, uh, let's just, um. Let's get all the regular chums out of here. Shadow Storm, go get him. Yeah, here. Ooh, perfect. Wait, what happens if I... Wait, Shadow Whip, okay. Oh man. Oh, what happens if I hit Venusaur? And then it gets switched out, but it's a shadow Pokemon. How does that work? Do I 
see the Shadow Pokemon again? I don't think I've ever seen a Shadow Pokemon get switched out. Oh, Ampharos is here. He has two Shadows. Wow. Okay. And Hitman Top. Okay. Oh, I got scared. I'm like, please don't be a Shadow as well. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just keep bullying the non-Shadows. Oh, Fake Out. Oof. Eh, I guess that's fair. Haryama was going crazy. Just Shadow Storming. Let's see. What type of gym leader would you be, says Bear Beauty? I, well, I've said it before. I would definitely be Dark type. I, I don't know. Dark type aesthetic, Dark type in general, has a lot of Pokemon that I like. Dark type's just awesome. That's why I made Matthias a Dark type. Mon I don't know, dark type trainer essentially. <laughs> um, okay, let's. I think I might switch out Hariyama. Let's give Pilot Pilot Swine a shot. Yeah, Ice would be a Ghost or Fairy type leader. That's cool. Honestly, I don't I don't hear a lot of uh, Ghost type specialists people who would like to be ghost type trainers. Ghost type trainer is kind of underrated. You could do a lot of fun stuff with it. Like Chantal, Morty. There's just a lot of like cool ghost type trainers. Phoebe. Baron BD. I would be normal. Okay. I know it isn't the best type, but I want normal to taste the sun. <laughs> I mean, honestly, normal normal is not a bad type. Um, I think m &J TV did a video on it recently. But, uh, wait, Shadow Freeze. Oh, shoot, it gets Shadow Freeze? Oh, my goodness, okay. He did a video recently where if normal is, like, an early gym, it's actually kind of hard to deal with because the only type good against it is fighting. And the only thing that, quote-unquote, resists normal is Ghost. And you usually do not have a Ghost type at that point in the game. So, I don't know, it was very interesting. Because you would think normal is you know, normal or boring, but it's actually a pretty good type. Okay, let's just keep going. I think I'll just use Hyper Voice, try to whittle down the Ampharos. Even though I know it has, like... Actually, I think it only uses Shadow moves, right? I don't know if it actually has an electric move. I think this Shadow Pokemon just have Shadow moves. Brave Bird. Oh, that hurt. I think I'll have to switch out Pidgeot. Go again, Piloswine. Can you stop? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Every time. Oof. Oh, Piloswine's not as good. No. I need my Hariyama boy back. Wait, 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 wait. Can I want... Can I beat him? Oh, I can beat Noctal. If I outspeed. If I outspeed, I should be able to beat him. Okay. Here we go. Hyper Voice. Go. Get him. Yes. Take that. Awesome. Also, it's a really quiet move animation for some reason. Shoot, rage mode. It's okay, it's gonna faint next turn anyway. Can you stop missing Shadow Freeze? What is this? It missed like every like three times in a row. Okay. We're fine. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me. Okay, Hariyama. I mean, I don't know how we're even gonna fight Snaddle. We just keep losing Pokemon here. Okay, um... Here we go. Yeah, I might have to do a switch. Heal up. Okay, Shadow Freeze. Thick fat prevents... <laughs> I... You will never see Shadow Freeze, ladies and gentlemen. Just never ever. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess it's Torkoal time. 
I mean, I don't know what we're gonna do against Snaddle here. Because it's gonna push us straight into a battle with him. Okay. Um... I guess the best thing we can do is literally just, uh... Okay. Wait, no, I think I have something. I might burn the Ampharos. That might be it. Shadow Sickness. What? What is this? Is it... Ooh. Is it badly poison? Interesting. Huh. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> Just every move misses. I'm telling you, the rate in this game is weird. The miss rate. It's like way higher than usual. <sighs> okay. Hey, wait, where was I? What was I saying? Uh, yeah, Baron Beauty. Um. Uh, uh, Phoebe, uh, sorry. Phoebe is Bay. I will not tolerate discourse. Oh, yeah, Phoebe's great. I also really like how unique Phoebe is in retrospect. Like, it's. I don't know. She's definitely, like, one of the most unique um, trainers. Like, ghost type specialists. Like, you don't really see that type of design for a ghost trainer. It's really cool. <clears throat> also, Pidgeot's wings are swinging so hard, so cute. <laughs> yeah, Pidgeot, Pidgeot goes hard in this one. It's flying like, like its life depends on it. Pudgy boy flap. I do love little pile of swine in this. Reminds me of like an old, like shaggy dog or something. <laughs> it's very cute. Okay, let's see how this goes. I don't have a good feeling about this. Ice. Normal type is pretty underrated when it comes to gyms. I'd love to see more of those. Oh yeah, it'd be cool to see more of them. Oh hey, there we go, we caught the Ampharos, sweet. Get down with the shadow sickness. Haha. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like trying to think for a second. I'm like, I wonder if, um, What's it called? Normal type ever got like a final gym treatment? I don't think it did. I'm trying to think of like the latest you ever fight a normal gym leader. Is it Norman? Because I know Norman was like gym battle five. For me, honestly, Norman kind of put normal gym leaders on the map. Oh, actually, no, I can't say that. Whitney did. Yeah. It's just, ugh. The battle with Norman is like so iconic for me. Like the Slackings and the Vigoroth. But yeah, I guess Whitney's mill tank is pretty legendary. Actually, now I think about it. Does a normal type gym leader, gym leader ever not go hard? Like, I remember Lenora's pretty hard too from Black and White. Okay, I don't think there's one for Sinnoh. From what I remember. X and Y, I... I don't think there was a normal gym leader. X and Y is very forgettable, not gonna lie. Uh, Sun and Moon. Oh, it was a uh, Lima. But you didn't have to battle him. I'm blanking on the normal type specialists. <laughs> anyway, that was stunning. That footage should be electrifying. Electrifying. Cameron, did you get that on tape? Uh, sorry, but you can't expect me to keep filming under these conditions. Oh, for... Uh, this is precisely the time your camera should be rolling. Show some journalistic guts. Cut. Oh, cut, cut. If Master Grievel were to see this, he would be most displeased. I have no mercy for anyone in my way, even for a child like you. You answer to me now. Uh -huh. Here he comes. I love his weird pose. That's all I had to put on the thumbnail. Oh, God. I, this battle looks hard already. Oh, I don't like this already. Oh, we, we healed. Okay, thank you, game. I appreciate that. I thought for sure I was going to lose, because I'm like, yeah, that's a brutal battle. 
back to back like that. Um. Okay, this is too straightforward. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, okay, what's the what's the gimmick? What are you gonna do? Psy shock. Ooh. I knew it! I was like, that turn is too generous. What is... what is going on? Oh, no. Oh, boo. Oh, I don't like this already. Okay, Shadow Shake. Okay, Shadow Storm, here we go. Okay. Take that. Dang. Oh yeah, Porygon 2's tanky. Forgot, it's tanky. Oh yeah, this game might have a Violite too. I think what I'll try to do is sh set up a Shadow Sky so we can try to get chip damage on Porygon 2. That did a lot more damage than I expected. Don't get paralyzed, okay. Scald, oh, oh no. Hilo Swine, what is going on, my boy? I was promised perfection. Okay, here comes Torkoal. I might have to... I might bait that Slow King, because I know it's going to go for Scald. I'll just set up Shadow Sky, switch out for Vaporeon. Okay, here we go. No, I got you. I got your number, Snaddle. Okay. Set up Shadow Sky. Here comes Blizzard. Oof. Oof. Yikes! <laughs> no! Scald. Cool, Storm Drain. Awesome. That's what I wanted. Yes, go down Porygon too. Okay, okay. Well, at least we knocked down one of theirs. Dang, that's Scald. Again, it's, it is very refreshing to get to these bosses and being like, oh god. You actually have to fear. Snow warning, okay. I don't like that already. Let's do... I might just heal Pidgeot here. I can't afford to lose Pidgeot. It's such a good Pokemon. <laughs> it's like saving my butt. Okay. But yeah, let's try to bring out the sun. So Scald doesn't do as much. If we just keep baiting the AI, we should be okay, hopefully. Also, Celio summoned Hail? Does Feel ever get Snow Warning? I don't think so. Oh! Oh! Dang it. Yeah, I guess it's just... It's too hard to deal with that. Dang it. That sucks. Okay, Emerald, for the love of God, please do something. Okay. Jeez, Alu, three Pokemon already down. All right. Can we please just get rid of Slow King? Maybe that would make my day. Okay, Giga Drain. Yay! You outsped for once. Yay! Get him! Ah ha! No. I was hoping it would beat him. Freeze dry. No, not freeze dry. Not freeze dry. Of course, you can't stay on the field for more than one turn. And then Blizzard. Okay. I'm very lucky they really want to do Ice-type moves right now. Also, why is that doing so much damage, man? Even the Torkoal. Okay. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Sunlight is strong. Okay. We're not really in it, but I'm just gonna pretend we're still in it. 
Okay, it's nine tails. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh shoot, yeah. I forgot, in the ROM hack, uh, that is straight up an Alolan Ninetales. Yep, he, uh, I think he took the shiny model and just made it the Alolan, so it's an Ice Fairy. Pretty cool. Too bad it's gonna kill me. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, we'll protect. Uh... Yeah, maybe we'll just try to flamethrower the Ninetales and see how this goes. Shadow Chill. Oh, of course you're gonna hit. Of course you're gonna hit. Of course you're gonna hit. Ah, oh, thank God it does, like, nothing. That's good, at least. Storm Drain activated. Oh, perfect! Took off the... Took off the heat from, um... Uh... What? Torkoal. That, yes. That's your name, Torkoal. Before we're not stricken by hail. Yeah, dang, this is a tough fight right here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I guess we'll just try to knock out the Ninetales because it's just doing so much damage. And hope for the best. Okay, Shadow Chill. Of course you're gonna hit it every time. Ugh. Ice. Normal type is pretty underrated when it comes to gems. I'd love to see more of those. Yeah, I definitely agree. I, I think normal type's pretty underrated for sure. Grand Beauty. Normal type, elite, or champion would be bonkers. You know, that, that would actually be pretty cool. At least an elite four. I think that would be pretty unique. Ooh, we might have something. Can I catch that? Let's see. Okay, and then heal Torkoal. Because right now it seems like the AI is really wanting to go for Torkoal. So we might be able to cheese it a little bit. Okay. Let me Kate. I love how jolly Ampharos is in these games. Oh yeah, just bopping back and forth. It's really fun. Yikes. I've always wanted to use a shiny victory bell on a team for a while. Shiny victory bell would be pretty cool. I I think it has a pretty good aesthetic. Oh, can we not get frozen, please? Can we not, actually? Ice Venusaur looks so creepy when it attacks. Yeah, those bloodshot eyes, I don't know what they were thinking. But it is it is pretty freaky. Oh, I actually do have an ice heal. Well, that worked out. Oh, I have an ability capsule? That's neat. Okay. That'd be cool if we could catch that nine tails. And then cheese the Celio. That'd be so cool. I don't know if we'll be able to, but let's try. Ice. The damage. <laughs> I know. It does, like, so much damage. Like, truckloads. Okay, at least we got the nine tails. I don't know. I think if we lose, we don't get to keep it, sadly. But I hope we do. That'd be kind of cool. Whittle down his team a little bit. Again, I, I don't think that's how it works with original XD, but... Okay, Pilot Swine. Hmm. Well, the good news is we can hit Pilot Swine. And then... Yeah, probably heal Torkoal, because I feel like that Piloswine is gonna have some choice words for me with a good ground type move. So let's give it a shot. Oh, protect! Oh, of course you have protect. Of course you have protect. Okay. Here comes freeze dry. Oh, no! Don't use freeze dry. Oh, no! No! That was the only thing protecting me from Hydro Pump. I mean, I know he probably ran out of power points for it, but still. Okay, Ice Shard. Please tell me you guys just have dumb ice moves. 
so I could tank all of it. Oh no, you have Hydro Pump! He was just trolling. Okay. Come on, Torkoal, MVP me. MVP. MVP. Sunny day, MVP. Stomping tantrum. No. <laughs> yeah, I think we lost this. Yeah, if it had a ground type move, we lost, yeah. Shoot. That sucks. Oh, -hoo. oh, -hoo. oh, wow. I usually never see his victory animation. I usually just totally destroy him. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, man. Yeah, this game don't play, man. This game don't play. I wonder if I should go to Pokemart. Hmm. It's probably not a good idea to purify Pidgeot. I mean, Torkoal's only doing what it can just because, uh... Hmm. I mean, I might have to make the hard call. For, for the future, I think I will indeed use Grovile, but only after proper grinding. I think I may have to switch out Grovile for right now, though. In fact, a good Pokemon to use instead of Grovile would probably be Venusaur for right now. Because I'll want to get rid of that thing as soon as possible, and then I'll remember to go get Grovile back. <sighs> Jeez, oh, yeah, this game does not play. It is nice, because I felt like I was just kind of button mashing through XD a little bit. But... Yeah, no, it's crazy, bro. Okay. We're gonna go to Pokemart, and then we're gonna try to fight Snaddle one more time. Uh, cause the stream did start a little late, so I'm gonna try to go a little further here. Uh, to Agate Village we- we go. Let me- okay, full team of six, two. <laughs> I know. That- you know, it's funny, that's kinda how you could tell it's a ROM hack. Is it's just like, does anyone have a full team of six that isn't a- one, a breeder, or two, a champion. <laughs> Poke snacks. No, I'm good, bro. Okay, great balls. I'll take great balls. Okay. I hope you like our creepy, distorted music. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, it's great. Love it. Can't get enough. Do you have any revives in here? You don't have any revives? How am I supposed to revive my mo Pokemon without any revives? Alright, whatever. Pleasure doing business with ya. Eyes. Grovile is just there, eyes blinking unevenly, drooling, doing its best. <laughs> oh, man. I wish there was an image to convey that. It's just like, do it good, Grovile. Grovile just blank stare. <laughs> its eyes are in two completely different directions. <laughs> Oh, man. Baron Beauty, go I must. I pray you all have a smile before you slumber. Thank you, Baron Beauty. I'm sure I shall. Thanks for coming out. It was good to see you. Okay. We got one more shot at Snaddle. One more shot at him. We're gonna take this guy down. Hopefully. We might have to fight his stupid Cypher peons first. Okay, so he one-shotted the Hariyama, so I think we should try to... Hmm. Oh, but he might not lead with that. That's right, because he changes his Pokemon up. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Okay. Progress has been saved. Let's go. All right. Oh, no, it's just him. Okay. Cool, we don't have to fight the peon. Good. Can I get the theme back? Yes. You are so tenacious. I told you not to disturb me. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Porygon 2 and... Oh, yeah. Yep. That is an Alolan Marowak, ladies and gentlemen. An Alolan Marowak. Ghost Fire. I'm telling you, you don't play. Also, yeah, it looks like we didn't keep the Ninetales. Because, yep, he has the full team of six. We didn't get to keep the Ninetales. You gotta beat him. Ugh, he just takes it right back. After you white out, he's just like, um, 
Ahem, you have something of mine. Give me that back. Oh, man. Okay, so... Shh. I might just set up the sky. Yeah, we'll just badly poison the... <laughs> yes. Set up Shadow Sky, we resist, and then Porygon 2 protects. There we go. <clears throat> Do not... Shadow Club. Dang. Ow. What hurts the most are my feelings. That Venusaur's animation actually fit that too. He's like, ow, what the... <laughs> that kind of stung. Okay. Just whittle them down. Whittle them down. And fear for your life when Celio gets here. And then Porygon 2 will probably protect next turn, so we'll just focus our efforts on the Marowak. Badly poisoned. Cool, cool. Try attack. Take that. Okay. So we have health this time. Thankfully, Venusaur is decently bulky. I mean, it is a third stage Kanto starter. Okay. So we just have to essentially just focus on surviving, really. I think we can screw around for just a turn. Super Potion. Perfect. Okay. Shadow Breeze. Let's get ourselves a Tailwind going. Perfect. No, not Rage Mode. No, stupid. Oh, I don't like Try Attack. No. I do not like that. Okay, Shadow Club. Okay. So hopefully I can survive for another turn to... Ah. Uh, I might have to just stick around with Pidgeot in Rage Mode. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Celio. Here it comes. The terror has returned. Let's try to knock it out. See how this goes. Shadow Storm. Get that Celio. Come on. Ye oh, man. Okay, okay. Cool. Oh, God. Citrus Berry. Oh, my goodness. Okay, perfect. Celio was terrifying, and now it's gone. Good. Oh, man. Hail. Okay. Stricken by hail, stricken by hail. Let's see what happens when Slow King gets here. I mean, I could just set up the sky again. Or is it worth it? Meh, just dogpile on the pile of swine. Go get him. <laughs> Go get him, everyone. We have Tailwind, go get him. Take that. Haha. <laughs> okay, and then Shadow Whip. Hopefully you don't fate Venusaur. Okay, good, good. Allies party Tailwind petered out. No! Hail continues to fall. Okay. If we, if Slow King is next, we might be in trouble. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. We should be able to outspeed Slow King, right? It's Slow King. Plus, I don't even know if it has Blizzard. Okay. I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna try to catch that Marowak. Okay, here we go. We have a great ball. This should help. Come on, go. Go in the ball. Get the Marowak. 
Yes. No. Come on. Okay. Well, at least we got first dibs on that slow king. Take that. I think it has Blizzard, but. Okay. Okay, just one more. Shadow Club. Ah. So I wonder what Slow King will do now. Yep, Blizzard. Okay. Well, at least we know we outsped. There is a niceness to that. No, Pidgeot, no! Okay. Okay. We might be able to catch it next turn. Let us see, though. Hariyama and Vaporeon. I think this is a good idea. I'm gonna try to think about what this Pokemon's gonna do. Slowking will probably attack the Hariyama. Oh, it absolutely will. Now I think about. It. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, we might have to switch Hariyama out. With like Piloswine, yeah, because it's absolutely gonna attack that. Because <clears throat> I know last time I got one shotted by the Slow King, so Ice. So wait, you either get Marowak or Nine Tails? Does he have both? Yes, he has two. He has both an Alolan Marowak and a Alolan Nine Tails. Yes. So now that we caught the Marowak, the Nine Tails should be up next. Okay, go in. Pile of swine time. And then Psy Shock. Yep, that was it. Psy Shock. It's interesting how it uses the move animation for secret power. I feel like the psychic move could have just used a psychic type animation. Because, yeah, Psy Shock is not a Gen 3 move, it had to be added. Okay, here comes the Alolan Ninetales. Alrighty. Okay, um... I guess we'll... Hmm. Maybe just Hyper Voice? I'm trying to think of what to do against this thing. A little bit about, at a loss. Okay, Hyper Voice. Please do some good damage. Okay, not as much as I was hoping. Okay, here comes Shadow Freeze. Just don't miss! Ah, You're killing me, man. Every time. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm starting to really like Storm Drain. It's coming in handy so much. Okay, Shadow Shake. And then I'll probably protect myself. Yeah, that's a good idea. This is long as Shadow Chill doesn't... Perfect, perfect. Here we go, Shadow Shake. Take that. Perfection. Take where it protect itself. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We got him, we got Snaddle. Yeah, I think, I think this is good if we do this. Let's try it. Okay. We just have to whittle down the nine tails. We caught it before, we can do it again. This fight is rough. I know, I know. <laughs> I hear you, Ice. Yeah, this fight, uh, this fight is very tough. Okay. We'll probably... Actually, actually, what am I doing? We'll just keep Pilot Swine in, yeah. I was gonna say, I'll switch him out for the XP, but nah, we're fine. You don't get experience for catching Pokemon. Oddly enough, that is not a thing that he threw in. Nowadays, you get XP for that. Okay, yeah, that's my thought, okay. I wonder if I have any Pokemon that can status. Oh, I have Torkoal, that's right. I could use Torkoal. 
but I don't like that it burns is the only thing. Oof! Okay. Well, I guess I could double check. Yeah, no. We, we all have... We have nothing. Alright. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, great ball. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of time. Until we catch this thing. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> go in the ball, go in the ball. Ice. The animation for Shadow Chill looking like a shot piercing through goes hard, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Shadow Chill does look really cool. I think the reason they made it look so cool is because in um, Vanilla XD, it's actually the signature move of Shadow Articuno. It's the only Pokemon that gets it. But in this, they added it to more Ice types. Still cool animation, though, I agree. <laughs> Please. I caught you in a Pokeball last time. What's going on? Oh, man. Yeah, it does uh, quite a bit of damage every time, too. Okay. Great ball. Protect. Okay. Come on. Come on! Oh my goodness gracious. <sighs> how, how on earth did I catch in a Pokeball last time? Okay, just... Just call. Great ball, please. I want to be done. I want to be done with Snaddle. I want to be done with Phoenix City. I just want to be done. Catch. Take that. Go. Oh my god. What is this? Pile swine. Your accuracy rose. Cool. Also, shout out to Shadow Chill. Not missing like a single time. Not, not a single time, even though I think it has a decently low accuracy. That's video game AI for you. Okay. Cool, I have to sit through the sun every time. Okay, great ball, please. Go in the ball. I can't status? <sighs> Nine tails, please, I know. Okay, this one for sure. I'm doing worse with great balls, man. This is gonna break my heart. I hate everything, oh my god. I was like, oh, is it over? Has it finally ended? Has the... Is the tyranny of Ninetales over? No, here comes another Shadow Chill for the road. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Fun times. Is there... Okay, no, we're fine, okay. Just call... Slowly gonna whittle down all my Pokemon. I could sure use Ultra Balls right about now. Please. Ah. Okay. I am officially at my limit. How many Shadow Chills do you have? Finally, finally miss one. Good for me. Dun 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 Ba, da, ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, ba, da, do, 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 oh, thank God, oh, thank God, it's over, it's over, it's ended, good Lord, that is the most trouble Snaddle has ever given me, any dabs, too? Wow. This dude is, is quite a character. Alright, good. We beat you, Snaddle. Go die. Ugh.
How is this possible? I've never seen a child so strong! But no matter, surely I've brought Gorgon enough time! His precious recovery operation must be finished by now! Today we will leave quietly, but don't you forget us! <laughs> Again, it's nice having the difficulty of the ROM hack because that felt earned, man. Thank you, you kept them from taking our videotapes. We got some explosive footage. My name's Mer Mary. We were gathering the news in Phenac when Cypher caught us and brought us here. But there's a silver lining in this. We managed to capture your heroics on tape. We did, didn't we, Cameron? Uh, yeah, you bet I did. Got everything on tape this time. Okay, we need to rush back to Pyrite and get this news out on the air as soon as possible. Let's meet again. Thanks for everything. I love her little run. Mary, wait for me! Okay. Oh. There's something on the floor. I should grab it. I can't end the stream until I have saved Phenac. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Yeah, I was losing my mind. Yeah, for sure. That was, that was like the Ludicolo thing all over again. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was pretty cray cray. I'm not gonna lie. He dabs. <laughs> yeah, that that was that was the cherry on top. The fact that he dabbed before he left. Okay. It's over. We did it. Watch her be like one more cipher peon in my way. Wait, it might not be Oh, I probably gotta do the control console, huh? Elevator key, yep, let's go. Ryuto gave the ele elevator key a twist. Let's save everyone. Bum bum. Let's go. There we go. Hey, everyone. Ooh. I'm Phoenix Mare Trest. Who are you? How did you get here? What had been happening? Oh my, so you, Ryuto, sent that scoundrel snaddle pr packing? That is quite amazing. Does that mean we can finally leave this miserable place? Look at his glasses. I never noticed he had glasses. I don't know if that's a new thing. Everyone, I need your attention, please. Let us all thank Ryuto heartily, and then get out of here. Ryuto, I thank you sincerely. <clears throat> yes! The music's back. Oh, it's so snazzy. I'm so happy. I see. So we were close to having Cypher replace all our citizens with their members. Oh, what a heinous plot. But it was stopped, and we all owe it to you, Ryuto. On behalf of the whole city, I sincerely thank you. In fact, I can't thank you enough right now. If you could, please visit me at my home later. Oh, I do want to visit him at his home later. Hey, Justy. You kind of look like Steven a little bit. Ryuto, right? Your actions saved the city. We all owe you a big thanks. I'd like to keep in touch. Can I get your peace star DA number? I'll call- I'll give you a call if anything comes up. Thank you. I'll be in touch. You know, I've been thinking. I think Phoenix was targeted because Cypher wanted to quash rumors that were spreading in town. People in the city had seen shady characters coming in and out of the desert. They were starting to talk about it. According to what the people say, there's something in the desert right around here. Oh shoot, wait. Is that the SS Libra? You should ask around for- Details from the people in the city. Oh, oh, and another thing. Huh. I came from Agate to take my granddaughter home, but just as I got to Phoenix, I was caught up in the whole affair. Thank you so much. We can finally return to Agate. I was going to visit Agate with my grandma, but then those people came and locked us up. I'm going to run a daycare just like my grandma when I grow up. Oh, the daycare wasn't active? Oh, I didn't even notice the daycare wasn't a thing. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, before before I end the stream, we got to listen to the beautiful Phoenix City theme. I love it. Peace and tranquility has been restored. And also, I'm going to pick off this, pick up the stuff off the floor. Oh, is that what happens with the grunts? You just pick up the CDs off the floor? That's kind of funny. Hello. Hello, hello, Ryuto. So good of you to come. Our city was saved by your selfless actions. I sincerely thank you. This is a mere token of our appreciation. Please accept it. EXP share! Yes! That'll do so good with grinding, because good lord, anything that has a sh shadow Pokemon in this game sucks. <laughs> I must say, he saved us in our darkest hour. Justy couldn't do a thing knowing that we were being held hostage. 
Honestly, if he hadn't arrived, I shudder to think what would have became of our city. No problem, my mayor man. <laughs> that That's a way to end the stream. Oh, man. Ice, thank you for the stream, Dean. So glad you got that nine tails. Thank you very much, Ice. Thank you. <laughs> it was a... It was a hard-fought victory. That is for sure. My goodness gracious. <sighs> Jeez, Lou. Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks for coming out to Pokemon XG Next Gen. The ROM hack of Pokemon XD, which modernizes Pokemon, and it's really cool. I'm glad that uh, it looks... It looks like... I didn't want to jinx it in the middle of the stream. It looks like I finally got the stupid ROM hack working where it won't crash anymore. Thank God for it. Because <laughs> it was getting very frustrating. Thank you guys for being so patient, especially at the start of the stream. Uh, stream when it was having issues. So thank you guys for that. Um, yeah, not really much else to say. Um, yeah, thanks for coming out. I had fun and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. And we'll see, we'll have some more Pokemon fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.